past months has suggested that the two-year-old economic recovery is slowing. And as economists lower their forecast for growth and job creation for the rest of the year, they're also telling the Fed to butt out when it comes to any further stimulus. That now puts the burden on the private sector to get the economy and job creating back on track. Joining me for more, Hezekiah Griggs III, who is a managing partner of H360 Capital. With that kind of burden, what is the private sector doing to, and to stimulate job growth? Well, I think the most important thing that happens in private sector activity is venture capital activity, which is what we do at H360 Capital. And what we're doing with NORC is stimulating urban economies to have new job growth activities from an entrepreneurial perspective, especially high-end technology jobs, technology companies founded by technology entrepreneurs who can provide greater value to these urban communities. Very important. So what's the criteria? Uh, the criteria is that you have to be an emergent, market-disrupting technology company. Uh, I think uh, you know brick-and-mortar companies don't work anymore. You need fast-growing, fast-paced, uh, econ economically lean companies that come in and provide great corporate structure, great corporate value, and talent into those communities like Newark uh, to make things happen. Okay, what impact do you think it's going to have on the city of Newark? Oh, with the partnership with uh, Rutgers uh, Center for Urban uh, uh, Entrepreneurship and Economic Development, we we particularly are putting in a million, a million five to help uh, 20 to 30 entrepreneurs develop their emergent disruptive mar market disrupting technology companies. Uh, that's a tongue twister. But what those are going to do is basically provide Newark with an opportunity to have fast-growing, fast-paced uh, uh, technology companies that can make a real serious indent on the Newark metropolis as it is today. Change the culture, change the environment, and change the pathos of what's happening in the city of Newark. What do these companies have to do to qualify for this kind of program? They have to have a really big idea and have a really big idea uh, creator in their company. You know, an entrepreneur who understands the value of uh, hard work, and the value of technology, the value of what they're doing, Anybody who has a common sense wherewithal of trying to change the world is somebody that we're looking at H360 Capital or any venture firm is looking for in the next coming months and years as we try to change into that new technology revolution that's taking place in America. Is small business the key to long-term economic development? I think small business obviously is. There's 26 million small businesses in this country. They employ almost uh, uh, 20. 3% of uh, most of the money that comes in from uh, tax revenue for a city like North comes from small business. Even bigger than that, if you look at the, the demographics and the tax structure of those situations and the jobs, jobs are really big, well, way over 100 million jobs from small business. It's absolutely the key, and we have to have small business incubation programs that take place in cities like North and in the state of New Jersey that help to move that progression forward. Sounds like you could be a great model for the rest of the country. Well, the rest of the country is doing it. You know, that's why New Jersey has to get on board. New York City is doing it. They have a new technology movement. Silicon Valley has done it well for 20 years. Newark, Camden, Jersey City, Trenton, they have to adopt similar strategies that allow us as a state to become better and more competitive in the global marketplace. Thank you so very much for joining us. If you have ideas about topics you'd like to see discussed, please log on to my9tv.com and click on Public Affairs. We want to hear from you. That's all for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us. For My9, I'm Brenda Blackman, and we'll see you next week on New Jersey Now.